Scorpio, hi, it's Lisa here from What's Her Name Tarot. I'm here to do your weekly reading for the week of Monday the 27th of September to the 3rd of October 2021. These are general readings only, so just take with you what resonates. Check your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, any number synchronicities that may occur and cross watches are welcome. So not many days left i've got a competition running for the month of september for any comments left on a video go in the draw for a free yearly 2022 reading um, which i will draw on the 18th of october which is my one year anniversary of doing these online so comment away i've got a few not many but um i'd say probably 10 which is a big improvement on what I usually get anyway. <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah, leave a comment, go in that drawer. And I'll let you in on a secret. I'm actually scheduling this quite a bit ahead of time. It's Friday here today in Australia, where I live. And, um, but I'm about to start nine days work in a row. So I've got two days at the Fever Clinic, which is half an hour's drive away each way. And then I've got Monday to Friday in the jail um, for my first week there. Been called up there already. And that's a 40 minute drive one way. And then I've got the fever clinic again on the Saturday, Sunday. But that one is just here in town up the road. So, um, but I'm going to be pumped for time next week. So I'm trying to get some of these done now. And they'll be still scheduled to upload as per usual on your usual days. But, oh, I don't know. I've said to everyone, I don't know why I keep doing that because really you just see that on the usual day. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> but <laughs> it is what it is. That's what my t shirt says. <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> okay, so you get number 65 Whale Spirit, Trust the Great Mystery. Well, there you go. Dig deep beneath the surface, see what lingers beneath and um, trust that great mystery trust in the unknown and moontology you get the south node don't let your past hold you back because you can trust in that great mystery to be going forward into the future so scorpio love that let us see what's going on here Okay, overall, the chariot. Okay, so may have been pulled in different directions in the past and come to a grinding halt. Don't let your past hold you back because now things are getting ready to be full steam ahead, getting things back into balance and alignment there. Could be dealing with a cancer. Past energies, you've got the moon, the eight of wands, king of wands, could be dealing with a Pisces. Hidden fears, I say don't be afraid of me, I'm a Pisces, but um, hidden fears over keeping communication in the past, open, honest, clear, everyone on the same page. Very hard actually, As my friend got me into tarot card readings and I used to say to him, what I write to you on the text message, you might not read it how I mean it. And what you write to me, I might not take it as you mean it. So it is all about keeping the communication open and clear. Hidden fears may be in some decisions that need to be made quickly um, to gain control of where you're heading towards your dreams and your goals there. But you come into your present energies, five of pentacles, four of, pen I'm sorry, five of swords, four of pentacles, four of cups. So a bit happening in the present, wanting to get this past that because um, it's been a battle. You're hanging on to something here in the core of your reading, not wanting to release something or someone. You're very tunnel visioned. You're very stubborn and focused on this one cup here. And it is causing a battle. It may even just be causing an internal battle, but um, maybe ready to leave that battle behind and um, get things moving. 
future energies you've got strength ten of wands eight of cups and you do get things moving moving away from some sort of emotional attachment that's not working for you you feel like you've been on this journey on your own and it's taken a hell of a lot of strength to actually get to the completion of the cycle here and possibly get things moving again so Scorpio there's a bit happening for some of you possibly and um, let us clarify right starting with the chariot overall for the week trust the great mystery trust this journey and get it moving two of swords two of pentacles king of wands feeling like if you're at a crossroads possibly that chariot comes to that grinding halt as we're talking about but being able to take a clear decision take a clear path of where you're going towards does take a bit to get things back in balance and get that energy moving again but you've got that king of wands again having that focus and control over where you're heading towards it's just my phone i didn't mute it um over where you're heading towards and what your dream and goal is there but um it takes balance to get that chariot moving and you've got the two of pentacles there past energies the moon you've got the four of wands queen of cups knight of pentacles yeah somebody in the past wanted to step up in commitment or some sort of stability here around love okay and it may have been a very slow process in coming hidden fears that it wasn't actually even going to get here it may not have gotten here but that four of wands having that stability and um, that queen of cups you're actually proud of how far you may have come emotionally past that energy there eight of wands you've got the devil four of pentacles again which is in the core of your reading and two of cups yeah so when it comes to love keep that communication flowing out in the open again still hanging on to something or someone here or someone may be hanging on and um, not letting you move forward because you've got the devil there as well for clarification could be dealing with a Capricorn but negative toxic energy maybe something or someone as I said trying to hold you back maybe holding you back from this love situation here and the communication might be getting missed come back to the south node though don't let this past hold you back king of wands you've got the six of swords love it seven of cups temperance yeah there's movement forward now even if it's done in secret there's other options available take the time to check each option out carefully and get moving that temperance could be dealing with a sagittarius having that vision and that goal and keeping things moving towards that so love that 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 comes out at the end of that past energies present energies five of swords you've got the eight of wands ten of cups six of wands again talking about keeping the communication flowing decisions that may need to be made quickly but there is love here it's coming flooding in now you've had this battle but you're coming out either way with this victory three cards there we'll take those next um, coming out with this victory and um, claim it because it's been a hell of a battle you're clarifying that five of swords four of pentacles you get i knew i'd have them upside down the star ten of pentacles knight of wands so it could be dealing with an aquarius but you've got dreams you've got goals you've got hopes here maybe successfully being able to release this energy that you are hanging on to because now maybe you have this new vision you this new focus um, of where you want to be heading towards and now finally being able to release the energy that you seem to have been holding on to four of cups you got the ace of swords ace of wands the hanged man well, brand new beginning here, if you manage to shift that vision around, as I was saying with the underlying reading, brand new beginning, cutting the crap out from the past, going for a fresh new start here, you know where you want to be heading towards, you're sick of waiting around, waiting for a decision to be made, and maybe ready to just take action and get things moving yourself. Love that, Scorpio. Future energies, you've got strength with the lovers king of pentacles the fall 
Wow, somebody may be ready to take a leap of faith when it comes to love, somebody significant. Soulmate Twin Flame here could be dealing with a Gemini. It's taking strength to take that leap of faith, but um, maybe coming out with all that success and abundance, um, inundated with it, getting control of finances and everything falling into place, all by taking that first step. Trust the great mystery, take that leap of faith. Ten of Wands, you've got Judgment, Ten of Wands clarifying, and the Princess of Wands. So definitely bringing an end to this burden, this journey of doing this on your own. Love that. Keeping an open mind towards something new now. Very compassionate, giving energy. So keeping an open mind. Don't judge others. I say don't let others judge you either though. And um, definitely wrapping up this um, hard slog that you've had to get to where you are. And leaving the Eight of Cups behind with the Two of Wands, the Moon, the Chariot. As I said, could be dealing with a Pisces or a Cancer here. Um, but you've got focus, you've got goals and you know where you want to be going towards. Don't be afraid, trust the great mystery, don't have those hidden fears when things are darker and greyer. That moon shines a clear path for that chariot to get that energy moving and leaving that emotional attachment behind that has been holding you back and bringing you down there. Magician on the bottom there before I shuffle. So. Scorpio, let's see what we've got from the universe. Temperance, Queen of Swords, Three of Swords. Yeah, movement, past this broken heart you've been through, you've possibly been put in a third party situation, whether that's around work, whether it's around love, but could be dealing with the Sagittarius, but taking a different approach, more direct up front, blunt, honest approach towards something or someone in order to um, get past that heartbreak that you have been through. South Node with Moontology, don't let your past hold you back and um, get that moving with that temperance. So love that Scorpio. I've done a lot of readings, my throat's closing over so we'll finish with Open Spirit Oracle. Then I need to go and get my juice. Okay, and you got, you respond to colours vibrations, surround yourself in colours that delight you. Love that. Says she who's pretty much got a black wardrobe. <laughs> but surround yourself in those colours that give off those good vibrations. So I love that Scorpio, that's what I have for you for the week, do hope it helped. If you click the like and subscribe button down here and um, thanks for watching and don't forget to leave a comment if you want to be in the draw for that free 2022 reading. And I'll see you all next time. See ya, bye.